Hi there Scorpio, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below and on your screen. Let's get right to it. We'll find out how you're doing, what's on your mind, the person that you're dealing with, what's on their mind, what is negatively impacting the situation or connection, and what is advice from spirit. I apologize for any background noise and um, I'm also going to try not to shuffle and speak at the same time because it can get pretty loud. So thank you so much for tuning in and here we go. Scorpio. Okay, so Leo had this um, had this card, the star card, uh, and I'm getting the same kind of message. You've got the death card, also Scorpio, Aquarius, and Capricorn, the devil card. Okay, so there's somebody here, and I don't know if this is you, wishing that you could be better, wishing that you could change something, you want to change something. Um, and this is because you're seeing someone who is... Uh, Who's being more open? They're being more vulnerable. If somebody's in live, living in their authentic truth. Somebody's living. Um, they're very open. They're very honest, and they're healing. You see that they're luring. They're very. They're very healing. Okay, and I feel like uh, there's an obsession here. Okay, and I feel like maybe this person doesn't see that obsession. Um, you're trying not to be toxic towards this person. Uh, with a devil card here, this is about you know a toxic connection, you know things that keep us chained. I'm seeing this as an unhealthy attachment. You're forming or have formed an unhealthy attachment towards someone, um, and I feel like you wish things were slightly different or wish things were different. You wish you were more like them. You wish you were more open, like they are, or they. You wish them you were more uh, healing, or you wish you were more. I don't know. There's just an admiration here, but and an, it's it's the thing is, it's not coming from a bad place. I feel like you are they make they they're the sort of person that would make you want to be better. Okay, like I said, you see them as as healing. You want to heal. You want to be different. You're struggling with your um, with your past, with addictions maybe, or it could just be unhealthy way of thinking as well. It could just be an unhealthy way of thinking. Okay, this is how I'm seeing that. Um, so the person on your mind. Judgment, the Ten of Cups, the Tower, wow, okay. So this person has had their karma. They've had an awakening. They've had a realization. You've got two realization cards. This is divine intervention, okay? And then you've got the Ten of Cups, which is a happy family. Somebody has realized what they want, what they deserve, who they are. Uh, and it, I don't think it was a, a very easy thing that this person had to do. There's some kind of shock. Maybe something sudden happened to them within their family. Or it could just be for them a realization about family okay and i feel like it, this is a very beautiful cards i'm kind of getting you know that uh, this uh, this is major arcanas here too and so do you you have major cards this is a shift this is a shift whatever's happening right now um to, between you and this person i feel like this is divine intervention you know something is happening i feel like i'm also getting ancestry this is something to do with your ancestors I'm also getting. Whether it's your ancestors, this person, something is being divinely guided here, but it is a realization, a truth. This person is experiencing a truth or, a, or, or an acceptance, because the judgment card is also about acceptance, about a family, um, about their origins, about... Um, what's happening in their life right now, something, yeah, it's it's very beautiful energy. This is, wow. I'm just gonna pull out one more card just to, and this is somebody who who is very self-aware. This is somebody who's realized, or they're realizing their mistakes, or they've realized where they went wrong. 444 when I said that, they realized where they went wrong, okay? Yes, High Priestess. 
this is somebody with a very strong intuition or maybe there's somebody who is being there's something supernatural that's happening here is what i'm getting the high priestess the tower wow there's a big spiritual cards hmm. you've got the magician in the magician at the bottom of the deck this is a manifestation somebody has been manifesting you something somebody has a realization about you what is negatively impacting situation or connection four of cups uh the knight of swords in the reverse the chariot in the reverse i'm just gonna pull out one more emperor this is what's negatively impact oh shoot my cards this is what's negatively impacting the situation someone here has b d e is what i'm getting big daddy energy <laughs> okay uh and, and i mean that you know i'm not i'm not saying that uh, the other term um I, I this is definitely someone this is what's negatively impacting the situation there's, there's there's too much of it there's a big ego here somewhere okay i feel like this could be power struggles okay aries energy the emperor is uh, aries cancer uh aquarius libra gemini cancer pisces scorpio this is um somebody wants to be in charge somebody there's a power struggle is what i'm getting the thing is the emperor the emperor is in the upright so it's not a bad thing but this is what's negatively impacting situation someone needs to soften up someone needs to um <laughs> I'm, okay if this is somebody who's in the masculine energy if it's the feminine and masculine energy they need to take a step back and i'm not saying it's a it's it's a bad thing to be in your masculine energy i feel like this is somebody who's very masculine so this is someone who because it the it's it's a good energy because it's it's the emperor and he's an upright but it's in it's it's where it's um it's what's negatively impacting the situation someone needs to to balance that okay somebody's very used to being uh masculine or well, somebody has a lot of masculine energy okay this is somebody who could be you know very stable they could be a boss they could be a ceo they could be you know they could have um they could be a father they could have um very somebody who's very wise uh it doesn't have to be male it could be female too um somebody won't step take a step back here somebody won't uh I, there needs to be a balance here anyway let's just carry on um, the chariot in the reverse, there's somebody who is also unable to travel towards someone. The chariot in the reverse is about um, an obstacle, like a trip that has been cancelled, or maybe no movement, somebody's not progressing. Somebody's not, someone is not, um, somebody is not progressing forward. Somebody's not taking control of the right things. It's possible that somebody doesn't have a car as well. The chariot card in the reverse. The chariot's about cars, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody... Uh, see, the chariot, when he's in the upright, he's controlling the the two opposing forces. He's, he's controlling that. He's able to balance this. But when it's in the reverse, it's unable to balance it and too much of something. So too much of masculine energy, okay? is what i'm getting the knight of swords here is somebody who is um the knight of swords in the reverse could be someone who i typically see this as somebody who is very impatient they they, they uh assume they make assumptions uh, very quickly this is somebody who's you know always uh quick to to give a harsh judgment you know, or something like that, because uh, yeah, the Knight of Swords is very aggressive. Somebody's very aggressive, overly aggressive in everything. You know, very, very in your in your business. And then you've got um, the Four of Cups. Somebody is not taking an offer from the Divine. Okay. Um, for others of you, somebody could be focused on a third party, 
And for others of you, it's just somebody who is just, I'm kind of seeing this as more as apathy, to be honest. Somebody's just tired. You know, they, they don't, they don't look very too, too bothered. They're very unfazed. It's just somebody who's just kind of doing their own thing and, and not really seeing the hand of the divine. Okay. So what is the advice? Let's see. What is the advice for spirit? You've got the page of wands. Mm. You've got the seven of cups and you've got the hanged man. Somebody, someone here is, okay, so I'm seeing this as uh, the page of wands is about uh, optimistic energy. It's about being open. It's about um, being the student. It's about accepting that you're a learner, accepting that you're a student. Okay, there's, um, there's love here. There's a lot of passion. Uh, the Seven of Cups is about um, being unsure. It's about not making a decision. Um, maybe not being able, yeah, not being able to make a decision. Somebody's very unsure here. Somebody has doubts. You know, you could be, you know, you don't know if you're making the right decision, right? This, this requires time. I feel like this is something that just requires time. It's, you're not sure about what to do or how to make a decision. Um, and, and it's just something that requires time um, and accepting that you're a learner in this situation. Um, you know, we always go through s in two situations where we think we should know, we know everything, you know, but um, yeah. And, and then you've got the hanged man. This is about, um, I feel like someone is just kind of passive. I feel like somebody's just kind of, um, there's no effort put in anything. They kind of just there, you know, and this is kind of giving me as the four cups energy where it's just un very unfazed, very unbothered. The, the divine is giving you a hand and you're like, Oh, whatever. It's just somebody who's just coasting through life. I feel like, you know, um, the hangman is a very stuck is, is stuck. You know, this is also asking you to have a new, a different perspective. Um, yeah, there's, there's a different perspective required here. Uh, or it could also, it could just be that somebody is very stagnant, very stuck, and they're just kind of letting things pass them by, you know, all kinds of offers passing them by. And then when they're, uh, when they get, when they're forced to make a decision or they are asked to make a decision, they can't make a decision because it's, things have been too passive for them. Like it's, I don't know if that's making any sense. Anyway, that's all I have for you, um, Scorpio. If this resonated, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I hope to see you again next time.